Welcome back. Toledo's taking on ALS, and you're invited to help and have a little fun at the same time. Doug Downing and Ali Murphy are with me this afternoon to talk about it. First of all, Doug, uh, we have, we've known each other for years. You've been coaching and working in private business. And Ali, your father currently has ALS, so this is a special uh, purpose for this whole thing. Let's talk, let's first of all, talk about your dad. Um, he's had L ALS for how long, and what were the symptoms that it came on? Yeah, so um, he was officially diagnosed in, in January of this year, but um, unfortunately with ALS, you really have to rule everything else out before getting to a diagnosis. So he's been experiencing symptoms for about 16 months. It started with just foot drop in his left foot and um, unfortunately has progressed from there to affect you know, both his speech and, and his mobility. Doug, what's your, uh, you're the head of the organization. Tell me what you're doing with the uh, so, so my wife, Lisa, and I, and uh, John and Tracy Schenharl. John and Tracy, John has ALS, and last uh, John was a commercial banker and, and grew up in Toledo and, and very well known in Toledo. And so he was diagnosed with ALS two years ago, and so he has, uh, he wanted to be proactive. And so what we ended up doing was he wanted to start and run Ales for ALS. He read about it and what he wanted to do, so he said, let's do it. And so he called Lisa and I in and uh, with his wife, Tracy, and so we got together and we put on the event last year and uh, very, very successful and a lot of uh, uh, really beautiful donations from corporate sponsors and stuff like that to help support the event to try to try to find a cure for ALS. So what's the, what's the event that Ales for ALS? Uh, tell me about it. Yeah, so it's a um, tasting, so over 40 breweries are gonna come in and um, people will have the opportunity to purchase beer tickets and do a bunch of different tastings. There's a raffle as well and food trucks. And so really, um, again, as Doug mentioned, there's a lot of corporate sponsors, but also just a lot of people and, and families coming to support um, you know, those affected. And um, again, hoping to raise money to um, help find a cure. ALS, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, is just an awful disease. Your, your body just kind of attacks itself. Yes. And although your brain is fine, you're, you're suffering through watching yourself deteriorate. That's got to be really hard on, on a loved one as well as the patient. Yeah, it is, and it's really it's really tough because it's a, it's one of those opportunities where it's very un underfunded mm -hmm. in the research and development area of it, and a lot of people go cancer now, and, and nothing against that, but it's just it's very underfunded and just the support because Lou Gehrig, if you look back at it, that was 80 years ago, and there still hasn't been much progress in funding towards ALS in that since that time frame. Now, of recent, what they're trying to do is, and what we tried to do last year with Toledo takes on ALS, we started this program, Ales for ALS, where the breweries, local breweries, and all over Ohio and Michigan and our area are coming in. They get hops sent to them, they make a uh, ALS brew, they sell the brew. And then the profits go towards ALS research. And so we work with a company called ALS TDI out of Boston, and they are the number one in the world as far as research for ALS and trying to find a cure and medicine and things to work on for ALS. And so, I think to your point, a lot of people just aren't aware that the disease exists. You know, there's only about 30,000 people in the United States who live with ALS. And so it just doesn't have the awareness that a lot of other diseases do. Yeah. and and. Unless you've had a friend or family member who had it, I had a friend. I, w I was telling you the story. I was yeah. playing tennis against him, and he and he tripped over his own feet at the net. And he thought that was really odd. And he kept seeing more signs. What were the signs your dad was seeing leading up to him getting it? Yeah, so really similar. You know, my dad's a really active guy, and it, it's really interesting to think back. You know, even last year when really he he had ALS and we just didn't know it. We ran a 5K together down in Columbus and um, at a 10 minute mile, no less. And so my dad was a really active walker at Wildwood. He would go almost every night and walk two to three miles and um, started noticing foot drop in his left foot. And then um, all of a sudden his voice started to go. And then again, you know, unfortunately with ALS, they have to rule everything else out. So one doctor was diagnosing him with something and one thought it was a pinched nerve and and no one was really putting the pieces together until, um, you know, really in December, January. And so it was really small symptoms that just added up and progressed over time, unfortunately. And there's no, we're no closer to a cure than we were 80 years ago. 
No, not not yet, but we're we're working we're making progress towards finding something. And the nice thing is, is ALS today they're also finding medicine and cures to help other diseases as well, which is which is great too. And okay, so, one more time before we go, uh, the the event is happening when now? So August fifteenth, uh, next Thursday night uh, at Mudhen Stadium uh, from five to nine p.m. You can uh, go on uh, the QR codes on the screen here. You can look us up uh, and uh, come out and support it. We got uh, a lot of uh, breweries. We got uh, bourbon baskets. We got a lot of high-end uh, money uh, objects and stuff like that to raise money. All right, Doug Alley. Thank you so much for calling. It's a very important subject. Hope you raise a lot of money. I have a, a nice warm night for it.